There's a number of different examples. I mean, Tiger Woods, who you mentioned before, staying on the golf team. We've seen various bits of information about how his father treated him when he was when he was younger. Whilst I'm with you that maybe it's not the way for everyone, do you think it's the way for some people? I think that um, some parents put too much focus on the sport that their um, that their son or daughter play in, especially if that child is very talented. Mm. I always remind my children that there are academics as well, and there's life. <laughs> yeah. They have to also enjoy themselves. They have to go with their friends. They have to have really. They have to divide with their family. So it's it's a balance more than. Um, obsession with anything. Straight up then, do you think if Tiger Woods' father hadn't have been like he's portrayed to be, and we don't, we only know what we see, do you think Tiger Woods would have been as good as he was or is? I definitely credit his uh, family for his um, performance. And the same goes with Rory. Rory, he says, my parents are the first people that I have to thank. They're mm. constant. He's constantly thanking his parents. However, I think that I have to give them space. And yeah, that's, that's as much as I, it's, it's, a, it's a, a question of balance mm. again. It is tricky, isn't it? Because I, I think a lot about, I mean, Tiger Woods is a great example, really, because did he, did he have his, his meltdown because of how he was treated earlier? Or, or the rest of his life wasn't balanced. Yeah. It was, right? the, was it so? But then would he have won everything he won if he was in balance, if he was doing what you said, if he was, because we have limited time, we have limited energy. So if Tiger Woods and any great athlete is just drilled with their sport for since they can remember, then all of their energy goes into that. It's not really a surprise that they get good. Whereas if he was pushed in academia as well and then told to go out and have a life and chase chicks when he's 12, 13 years old, then what could have happened to his golf? Would he have been what he, what he was? Tiger Woods is the ultimate. And what he did was is he sacrificed a lot. Mm. And I don't want my kids to pay the price and that, of that sacrifice. I'm willing for them to be excellent players, but not maybe the best. Mm. Uh, however, they've done their own sacrifices. So, for example, when uh, Mir Weiss was faced with applying to universities, he had the choice of either applying only to an academic school with a, with a higher name, so applying to the Ivy Leagues or to the UC schools, which only take the top, top, top golfers, which he wouldn't have reached, or to do exactly what he wants. And so we had a side of the family that said, but what if he stops playing golf? What if he, why, do, why are you sacrificing his academics to his golf? And I said, his golf is his life. And this is his, and the same goes for Turab. This is where they excel. They are students. They're not going to be partying at school. They're going to be going to tournaments. They're going to be traveling the United States. The program that they have selected and the scholarships that they have received because of all these years of sacrifice and golf mm. have, have reached this. This is the ultimate for them. And then later in life, when they go into a career, whereas, for example, Torab didn't necessarily go into a golf career. He's not on the PGA, but he's in a sec sector of industry where he's happy because it's linked to golf. And also his employers know that they can count on him because he has the attributes of an athlete, as in he's dependable, he wakes up early, he's dedicated, he's... Um, disciplined which others you know it's it's a personality what i'm hearing is there's only going to be a small percentage of tiger woods so the key is to be a bit realistic with that and like you said they're not on the pga right. my sons are great and my daughter's great at sport the boys are great at golf but 
they're not they're not playing on the PGA. That's so right. the chances are that academia and life skills are actually pretty important to them. So let's make sure we put equal focus and that's where balance is coming from.